Welcome to Turn and Burn, number one channel, all things blue collar, and welcome to Firebird Friday. Uh, wanted to do a quick update. This isn't going to be a very long video. Um, kind of getting to the point where some of the things that I'm doing, uh, such as uh, painting, you know, the steering column, installing the parking brake, installing the brake pedal, and all this stuff, uh, it's not really that fun to watch on, you know, do. It's not really too difficult and so uh kind of running out of stuff to do and i want to bring y'all something every friday for fiber friday um i want to go back to the last video i did where i was showing you over here where i was having the uh issue with the uh, headers and the steering leakage i want to take you back to that and uh when we come back i want to show you uh what i did to fix that problem so check this little clip out found that's going to really be a pain and this is going to probably be a whole video in itself to show you what I did uh, that way if it helps you once you put these headers in here these headers come right through here and they go right right underneath there obviously well you have your steering over here uh, I just have this stuck in there just you know for a reference point and uh, then you have this knuckle here obviously I'm gonna need a linkage and all that stuff but with those headers it runs right where you need to put the steering so just kind of been looking at it and i have a feeling that i'm going to have to turn this up this way i think i'm going to have to i hate to do it and i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i'm going to have to notch this frame out over here somehow or another to bring this out um obviously when this is all notched it will be all boxed back in to make it strong again uh but that's what i found that's going to be the hardest part of all of this all right as you can see from that clip the header was in the way i thought i was gonna have to modify that frame right there um i kind of was doing some research looking around and i looked at some different headers and uh i'll show you right here these are the ones that i purchased first time i should have done the research for right away and i didn't i was just too excited to get headers and then i just kind of went with these but um kind of see from overhead here Right here, how this goes straight down and comes at this angle, that's where I was having problems. And that's right there, and you'll see here in a second, is where the steered linkage was hitting. These other ones I got straight from JEG. They're just painted. I'm going to get them coated, I uh, figured, because I didn't know if I was going to have to do any modifications to them. But you can see major difference how these wrap all the way, come all the way back around here and leave that area for your steering. Um, wish I would have known that before, save a little bit of money. So, uh, pretty sure those are going to be going on Facebook market or something, or, uh, to a swap meet or something. Let me take you over here and let me show you what I did to make all this work and, uh, show you what I did with the linkage itself. I'm not a hundred percent done yet. Um, I want to get this. I want to get everything in here mocked up because I want to get this engine pulled. I want to get her back on the ground so I can start getting the doors on, the fenders, start getting everything mocked up real well. Um, my plan is to get everything put back on, uh, on the car the best I can. Um, I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to try to get the gaps and get everything, the body work, the best that I can do. That way I can take it somewhere and I want to get... Uh, uh, professionally done the body work and the paint because to me um yes i love the power i love the engine but i just just having this that clean clean look i mean that's just to me that's worth the money so that's my plan let's get back to this real quick um like you saw on that video right there uh, modified the uh, motor mount um you can look back at the video and see what i did right there which I had to, obviously, if I can get down in there really tight, um, there was gonna be no clearance, so modifying that was a must. You can see I can stick my hand all the way in there now. From what you saw with those other headers, they went, they came down straight here, and it's just right in the way. These fit up perfect. And uh, now I'm looking at the black. I think I'm gonna go with black because it's, that's gonna be my accent color anyway, so. Maybe it's better, I'm gonna go ahead and get these coated black. So what I ended up doing is, uh, went to Jags and I ordered this, this little knuckle right here. 
and then I also ordered this uh, shaft right here uh, I had a three-quarter um, shaft which was like a pipe uh, I feel like this is way better um, right now I have this hooked up in here this is the one that actually came with the um, uh, steering itself and uh, in here I have it bolted up right now what I think I'm gonna do once I pull everything back apart so I'm gonna go ahead and drill so these bolts go inside there um, I may end up welding these don't know yet I did weld these but it came across and uh, it's gonna be really tight in here but I'm not gonna have to modify any of that um, so pretty much took what I'm gonna use I know there's a piece right here that I can pull out but I wanted to go ahead and use this uh, this little rag joint right here. Um, this one's really loose. I'm gonna have to get a new one. This is the old original one. It's pretty wore out. But I want to use this to take some of that vibration out of uh, of the steering whenever I am driving it. But I pretty much measured what I needed. I mocked everything up and uh, pulled this piece out and welded this into here. Slid everything in. And um, this since this is pretty old and, and it bends quite a bit. I can actually bend and put this back in, but whenever I get the new piece, I'm probably gonna have to slide the column uh, back, get everything bolted back up and in there. But that is how she turned out. Um, that was just an update from where I was last time. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, right now, it's a little wobbly, like I was saying, but uh, I've got this piece on order, and that way I can get all that in, but I wanna get this motor out so I can do some other stuff. Uh, something else I'm going to do, um, you can see right here, it doesn't, it almost just kind of barely rubs this header. Um, I don't know if I want to hit it with a hammer or anything like that, so I think I may put a little dimple right there. What I'm planning on doing, and we'll see whenever I get to that point, I may drill that out. The hose saw, flip it around the other way so it has a little indention, um, weld it up, smooth it all out before I get it coated so that was just a quick update from the last video of what i did and uh as you can see let's try to get some good pictures in here so if any of y'all are doing this you can kind of copy do the same thing uh, maybe there's a better way of doing it i don't know but i think this turned out good i've seen a few pictures so that is that I'm going to show you a few other things. If you want to stick around, I'm going to show you some other things that I did and uh, kind of end this video. All right, second part of this video, I just want to show you uh, some other things, some other updates, what I did. Uh, as you've seen, I went ahead and got the steering wheel, everything in place, uh, got her where she needs to be, uh, pulled everything out. Uh, my daughter. She's funny, she asked me the other day, she said, this is gonna be like a new car. So this is gonna be better than a new car. I uh, pulled everything out, the uh, emergency brake, cleaned it up, painted it. Same with, uh, with the steering and all that stuff. Uh, got the new rubber boot in place. Went ahead, and you can see over here, I put the, uh, the heater box and everything in place. Uh, that, I was going to be lazy and buy a new one because it had a few holes. Then I saw that it was $300. And you know what? I can weld Bondo fiberglass. You're not going to see it anyway. Clean it up and it came out really, really nice. Um, what, I'm, what I'm doing in here is this is an undercoating. I've primed everything and it's dirty right now, but I, I used a, uh, like a bed liner. Um, and it's not super thick and I did the same thing to that box over there uh, and then around the back here I went ahead and welded the trunk latch piece in here I bought this brand new it's a reproduction but if you can see she fit up in there beautifully um, put a new latch and everything these are just the old uh, bolts when it's all done I'll have all new stainless bolts and everything will look nice and uh, went ahead this is the uh, trunk lid uh, this is the color I had it painted the first time and um, went ahead uh, I don't have weather stripping or anything in there but got the trunk lid on 
And like I was saying earlier, I'm not worried too much about I'm going to get the gaps as, as close as I can. Um, for right now, still going to be some more adjusting to do. Uh, but I want the body man to do that because I know if I do it, it's not correct. He's going to have to go back and fix it. So other than that, uh, just to kind of brief you on the other things I'm doing, I've got the front end over here. Uh, she's not always put together, but kind of just mocked up and ready. I didn't really pull everything apart. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, taking all these pieces uh, off and go ahead and get them powder coated. So pretty much from the frame, show you over here, the frame will all be black. Uh, everything will be, everything's going to be the color of the car. The frame will be black, will come up, radiator and all that pieces in there will be black. Um, those will all be powder coated. Uh, not sure. I'd like to powder coat the frame, but I think what I'm going to do is um, not powder coated just yet. Maybe uh, a couple years down the line or whatever. We'll see how everything goes. But that was just a quick update. Like I was saying, uh, I want to try to bring off something every Friday. I'm to the point where it's kind of getting boring. So um, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go ahead and pull the motor out, get her back on the ground, kind of make sure everything's tight, get the stance where I want, and uh, get the doors put back on, the uh, inner fender wells, get the uh, fenders on, try to get everything kind of bolted up, buckled up to where uh, it looks pretty good. That way I can get her to where she's rolling and get her a paint shop. So uh, thank you for tuning in to Fiber Fridays on Turning and Burning, your number one channel, all things blue collar. And uh, so I didn't show you any how to's or anything like that. And I hope I did not bore you. And once again, here I go rambling on. So uh, I'm not going to drag up, but I'm going to roll on up out of here and uh, get back to work. Thank you very, very much again for uh, watching. Uh, tell your friends, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Because uh, I don't know, you're supposed to say that, I think. All right, man. And women. Adios.